So today I'm going to be recreating Emma Chamberlain's outfits because once you get the formula down, you can be as cool as her too. So this is me, Jen, fellow normie. As you can see, both me and Emma are fabulous. I may or may not be the same size as her. So today I'm gonna show you how to kind of style all her clothes even if you're not the same size as her. Now I can see all the hate brewing um, from my title, but just so you know, every single body is normal. All you have to do is have like, you know, skin, maybe some lungs, and boom, you got a normal body. So if you fall under that category, you can totally try out these looks. Like I'm pretty sure Roz from Monsters Inc. could even pull these off, so I got you. Now, as you can see with this first one, it's pretty basic. We're just going with some classic blue jeans, a black tank, and also a black jacket. Now, her jacket's quite different from mine. I just chose a corduroy bomber style jacket, but you can really add anything that you have. And it just looks so pulled together with the shoes matching the top half of your body. So really, it's just a classic look. You can really add whatever kind of jeans are your preference. I've gone with wide leg jeans and she has gone with some Doc Martens, which I was honestly going to do a Doc Martens recreation kind of video today, but turns out I found too many outfits of Emma Chamberlain. Next one's super similar. I have changed out the jacket, although you probably couldn't tell, just another corduroy jacket. And this is from her seven days, seven looks that she just did with Vogue. Basically, she's keeping it quite basic with this is her everyday look. So she's just got a white tank jacket and blue jeans and it just shows that you can really just have some classic items in your wardrobe and you can look put together and i'm not really a bag girl so i'm actually holding a hat pretending it's a bag but you know do whatever you need to do girl so now i'm doing all these blue jean outfits first to show you that you can really just own like one kind of item in your closet and wear it over and over again and this one it's totally an outfit that I've worn many times before. This hits the trifecta because we got a classic vintage oversized tee, classic jeans, and also classic staple shoes. What more could you want with this outfit? Now, what does Emma love more than blue jeans? Well, white jeans. <laughs> it turns out she wears a lot of white jeans in her outfits. So to start off, we have this pop of color look with this green top, white jeans, and of course, Doc Martens again, but we've gone with more the standard type. We don't even have a platform this time, which is kind of unusual for Emma because I think platforms are her like signature style. Now I know Emma went for a colored top, but we are just recreating these looks from everything in my wardrobe. So I went with this open style kind of cardigan top. I don't really know how to describe what it is but um, it goes with the green theme and then I've added accessories in my hair because I didn't even have a headband. Who am I? Teenage me just like had billions of headbands. I don't know what's happened. Now the thing about Emma is it seems to me she pairs things together that are very unconventional and things that I probably wouldn't even think of pairing together at all. But honestly, this is a good example of how she likes to coordinate colors. As you can see, she has coordinated like everything from her jumper. The brown, the blue, and the red, which I tried to emulate in this outfit, although my brown jumper has quite a lot more patterns on the outside, but let's just pretend it's all brown. Now, this is super comfy, but obviously for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, this is probably way too hot for you right now, so I would suggest um, skipping this one. Now, you're probably thinking this one's a little bit loose because I'm not wearing a brown cardigan, but um, you know, it could be brown if you wanted to or any color that you really want. So, yes, Emma is wearing a brown one, I'm wearing a blue one, but we got the same concept here with the peep show of a bralette. We got the cardigan on top as well as some white jeans and Doc Martens yet again. Yeah, sponsor me Doc Martens, please. Now, if belly ventilation is not for you, you can totally switch this up for like a tank top that kind of covers that area. But I personally love having like baggy jeans, but then a tighter top to really accentuate a smaller waist, but have those baggy jeans to kind of skim over the thighs. 
Now, white on white, it do be dangerous, um, but we're trying to pull it off here. Now, I couldn't fully see Emma's outfit, but I know she's gone for a ringer tee and white jeans, and I'm just gonna guess she's wearing the same shoes as normal. Now, I don't even know how she manages to get a pose like this because I just, I just can't do it with it being flattering, but um, props to her for being so iconic. Now, I can't remember, does she like Coachella? Does she hate Coachella? It's some mixed feelings for her, I think, but um, I've got my Coachella ringer because I feel like it's something that she could pick up potentially, as well as a belt and the jeans that we keep wearing. But let's try a different silhouette for this one. We're wearing a skirt, a tennis skirt, in fact, and the one I have is a little bit longer because I don't like the fact that tennis skirts are so short and I have a whole video about it if you want to see that. But for now, we are talking about Emma. Now, I really like recreating looks like this because it's something I wouldn't actually style myself. It's like pushing me out of my comfort zones. Normally, I would tuck in the jumper so I'm not swamped around my waist, but it's cool to see different ways of styling your clothes. And we have this baggy jumper on top and the tennis skirt, which is just so in style for the last, like, couple of years I would say and it really brings a lot of preppiness to her ordinarily street style. Now recreating does not mean copying so you can basically just take her advice and then style it with pieces you already own so I have very different pants on than what she had but I'm going with those brown tones and I personally love a real wide leg pant it's just real comfy on my legs and I've added the green top from before and really I'm just exploring the same color palette and somewhat silhouette as her but bring my own style to the table for this one. One thing I've never really attempted though is the shoelace belt. I've always thought it was somewhat tacky but I kind of like how it works with these pants and I'm probably going to wear them like this forever. Thank you Emma. And not like you can see it but I'm also wearing frilly socks with these shoes to kind of make it a little bit cuter. Now a while back my brother actually told me that I dress a lot like Emma Chamberlain and this was before I even started watching her and I was like what no this is my personal style but looking at this outfit this is very me. We got the yellow cord pants, a nice comfy cool sun jumper as well as some colorful sunglasses which I'm wearing slightly different color and to be honest it really matches my hair so I had to go with red. But I like how Emma usually goes for comfy clothes over the, like, scandalous kind of clothes. I mean, she does do that look very well as well, but you can tell she really likes wearing jeans and covering her legs, despite the fact that she has real nice legs, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I personally love to wear pants to cover my legs, so her style is kind of inspiring for me. So statement pants can be a lot and it's really hard to kind of recreate someone else's outfit when you don't have the same unique pants. So for this one I have gone with my statement pants that I have which are these yin yang print ones from Holiday the Label. But yes I think the trick to wearing statement pants is wearing something kind of basic with it or else you're going to be super over the top so I have paired this ringer top again with these pants and I like how the red and purple go together with the yellow for being very colorful but not too in your face as well as you know Doc Martens but um I just want to appreciate the fact that these pants kind of make my butt look really good so yeah love these ones all right the comfort zone is that breaking point in this one but <laughs> I actually really love how it looks on camera now that I look at it now I feel like Emma really brought flared yoga pants into the scene a while back. Um, I personally don't like flares too much because I don't like things hugging my like thighs and butt, but it's actually real sexy. So I have paired these kind of pink, it kind of looks like TV static pants with my Dogman Jaden boots, which are ex-girl ones, which are super cool. And as well as this graphic tee. I really admire Emma for trying different styles, but not fully just following the trends. She really makes it her own kind of style. And I find this one really reminisces that early 90s Y2K kind of style that's coming in a lot lately. If you take anything from this lookbook, 
This is probably the most timeless, effortless look that you could recreate on the daily. We got black jeans, Jadens, a simple but patterned sleeveless top, although I don't really know what's happening with the jacket, but it just adds something to it, as well as some sunglasses on my head. Not really gonna save my eyes from the sunlight, but they look super cool. And I feel like apart from the docks, which are insanely expensive sometimes, you could basically create this look with whatever you have in your wardrobe. I think anyone would have some sort of version of these items and it just looks so classy, classic. So I dare you to recreate it and tag me in it or send me it on Instagram. My Instagram's at in the wonder years, by the way. But yeah, I think you need to do this look. So that has been me, Jen, recreating all these outfits from our queen, Emma Chamberlain, who's just, I feel like I'm not even a fan of hers really, but then I click on her videos and I will watch the whole thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which outfits you like the best and which ones you're gonna recreate. Anyways, I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, keep wondering.